Hello and welcome to another BC Academy tutorial. In this free video, I'm going to be putting the newly released custom SSL domains to the test for logging into secure zones. Custom SSL was released today, June 14th, 2017. So fair warning, anything you see in this video could potentially change if Business Catalyst decides to fix any bugs or make any updates in the coming weeks. But we wanted to get a video out there to the community showing what new custom secure domains means for logging into secure zones. Business Catalyst has officially stated at this time they do not support custom secure domains in secure zones, but they also said that doesn't mean it won't work. So we have done the work of testing this for you. Custom secure domains brings many benefits to your sites. A few of those benefits include safer encrypted browsing of your site for users, and also, Google has made it clear they will be favoring secure sites both in rankings and in the secure labeling on their browser. So already having custom secure domains is a great thing. But as a Business Catalyst developer, it's also important we are able to build membership and secure zones using the new custom secure domains. So without further ado, let's see how it works. So our first test will be logging in to the new custom secure domain using the default BC login form. I'm going to test putting a general secure zone login form, the default login form that BC inputs. Um, so if I went to site module secure zones and I go to sign in form, and if I were to select member only area and click insert, it's going to input this login form that will redirect me to that secure zone. And when that happens, BC by default automatically puts in the worldsecuresystems.com with the referral URL, which should be our new SSL secure domain. So let's see what happens. On my homepage, I have this setup um, and I have a login. So I'm just going to log in. And now normally what should happen is it's going to redirect me to the World Secure Systems domains because that's the domain in the action URL. But also what happened before SSL was that it should um, log me into both the non-secure and secure domain. So now let's click login. All right, so now you'll notice that it did successfully log me into the World Secure Systems. But now let's go over to my new SSL domain and I'm on the same page and let's refresh. Okay, so it did not log me in. So if, if again, if we're on the World Secure Systems and I'm on my account page, which is my secure um, landing page, it, it has logged me in, but has not logged me in to the new SSL domain. Okay, now I'm going to test if I remove the World Secure Systems domain from my action URL in the beginning and I just have it relative to the current domain I'm on then let's see what happens when I log in. So I'm on my new SSL custom domain and I'm gonna log in. You'll now see it keeps me on this custom SSL domain and I have successfully logged in. It does redirect me to this ASPX which is normal but again if I go to my account which is the actual landing page and refresh I should be logged in. But if I go to the worldsecuresystems.com and click refresh, I'm not logged in. So by removing the World Secure Systems domain in front of the action URL, I am able to log in successfully to my new custom SSL. Using the default BC login form, one last thing I want to do in order to try to get it to log in both the new custom secure domain and the World Secure Systems domain is to try and update the refer URL and the action URL. For this test, I'm now going to keep my action URL relative to the current domain I'm on, which is my new custom SSL domain. And in the refer, I'm going to put the World Secure Systems domain. So in theory, how this was working was BC prepends the secure domain to the action URL and then puts the non-secure domain into the refer, which knows how to log it in both to secure and non-secure domain in the past. So in theory, if I have this relative to my custom SSL domain and put the World Secure Systems in the refer, this should log me into both. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it logged me into the custom SSL domain, which is great. And I'm just gonna refresh again on my actual page, making sure I'm logged in. And now I'll refresh on the World Secure Systems. Okay, so it did not log me in. Um, so this is different 
behavior than before. Using BC's default login form, we can no longer log in to both the secure domain and the World Secure Systems domain at the same time. Okay, in this test, I'm going to try an Ajax login over the new custom secure domains using Ajax. So here I have a form set up that's set to collect my username and password. And I am just going to run the regular validation instead of this time, instead of using the normal submit function provided by BC, I'm going to submit my own custom function that is then going to Ajax log me in and will redirect me to the account if it's successful. All right, so now I'm on my new page with my Ajax login and I'm going to put in my username and password. And now behind the scenes, it's Ajax logging me in and it has redirected me to the account. So now um, we have verified that logging in using Ajax over the new custom SSL or custom do secure domains does indeed work. In this next test, I'm going to try Ajax logging in over the new custom secure domain and the world secure systems domain using the method that I've outlined in my BC Academy tutorial about Ajax logging in over secure and non-secure domain. So this test will require me making some updates, which I'm not going to release just at this point, but it's just just to test to see if this method will work. So I have set up a form on this page that is using this method and I'm going to go try and log in. So first let's go to my account page on the custom secure domain and the world secure systems domain. You'll see that I'm currently logged out of both. Let's go ahead and try logging in. It's going to redirect me to my account page on the custom secure domain because that's the domain I was currently on. And if I just come in here and refresh now says I'm logged in, welcome Scott. And if I go to the World Secure Systems and refresh, I'm now also logged in. So interestingly enough, using BC's default login form, it doesn't seem to be working where it will log you in both over the custom secure domain and the World Secure Systems domain. However, using my Ajax method that I was using previously to log in over the non-secure domain and World Secure Systems domain, it does seem to be logging me in both to my custom secure domain and the World Secure Systems domain. So in conclusion, we have some great news. We can successfully log in to secure zones over the new custom domain. However, if you are going to use the default BC login form, you will need to remove the .world secure systems domain prepended to the action URL in order for it to log you in over the custom secure domain and not redirect you to the worldsecuresystems.com. If you do need it to log users in to both the new custom secure domain and the .world secure systems domain, then we will need to use the Ajax method in order to do so, which I will hopefully be releasing an update to soon. In the meantime, if you need to log users into both new custom secure domain and the worldsecuresystems.com domain, then you'll need to redirect users to the World Secure Systems domain and ask them to log in again. Hopefully, however, BC will make some updates to make it work so that it does log you in to both the custom secure domain and the worldsecuresystems.com domain using their default login form. Thank you for watching and supporting the BC Academy. This has been Scott Shuffler with another BC Academy tutorial.